photo. Here I am. It's an outside Alexandra Library. It's, it says on the on the blur, a bookshop like Nova. Let's go and see if it is. Hello. Hello. Is this a bookshop like Nova? Why is it a book? Why is it a bookshop like Nova? Tell well, me. Because we specialise in Middle Eastern languages. Oh, we do also, you? We also um, exhibit local artists. Wow, funny you should say that. I am a local published author. Oh, are you? We've got uh, selling two books at the moment from local published authors. Right. Um, I have. What um, do you write? Pardon? What do you write? It's just a story of my life. Uh, it's called Once Upon a Time in Moston. If you Google that, if you go on, um, and it's published on Amazon, but I've not put my actual book on because I didn't, because the, the original book I wrote was, was, wasn't was kind of edited very well, but it got published anyway. Okay. So um, I got like 100 copies made and I've got like 80 odd still in me. <laughs> <laughs> I've not sold any of the hardback ones. I've sold quite a few online of just yeah. the online one. I just wonder if you wanted any copies of it and well, you can one, well, the for ones free. Well, the ones are actually about the area. It's about the area group in Moston. So, the, so we've got the uh, Rush Home Sketcher. Yeah. Have you seen this one? No. So this is. Is this one who does sketching? Yeah. I met somebody who was sketching on the street the other day. The the aim of the bookshop is to basically sell things that are about the countries that we're interested in. Or this is about Rush Home. And you're not interested in Moston. Well, it, this isn't really, I mean, I'm more interested in something about the area rather than a personal story. I mean, if it's your life story, I'm not sure we'd be able to say. Why? It. It's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. I've lived a life that's full. I've travelled well, each and every good. highway. Very good. No, but I don't need to ask him because I see, I was just cycling past my bike and I thought, oh, bookshop like Nova, I thought I can get rid of some of the books. And they're all like, you know, top, I'm, well, what, no, they're not, I mean, not what's the sort of thing, because we are quite careful about what we sell. Yeah. So we would, we would, you know, want to know that it, um, it, it stuck to our standards. So right. we don't, we don't sell any books that are like maybe um, not appropriate for everyone to read. Right. I see. We, because partly because we sell religious books as well, we're quite right. careful about what we sell. So if it's got sort of anything that you know, would make it not appropriate for a child to read, then we wouldn't um, necessarily sell Do you only check, sell child books? No, then. we don't. We don't only sell. We do sell novels and things like that, but we're, we're actually quite careful about what we right. actually sell. All right, I'll just thought, no, it's just a thought, that's all. What's in your story? Just about growing up in, you know, and going to school. In and, Boston? Yeah. Well, bring one in. All right, I'll, br I'll, I'll, we'll one there, I'll bring one in and you can have a read of it and if you, Want to stock it? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we do sell yeah. things for people. All this, all these uh, paintings are from a local artist. Are they? Yeah. Well, prints. How much do they sell for? Well, some there are different sizes and different. So these ones, the smaller ones, they're, I think they're twelve pounds. Wow. But the big ones, I think, are a little bit more. They're more like twenty-five. What did they mean anything? No, they just, they just like you know. Nice pictures. Oh, right, okay. I mean, we've got others that do mean something, but this is a particular artist at the moment. Do you get a lot of people buying stuff from here? We do, yeah. I mean, yeah. you don't, you'd think it's bookshops would be out, Yeah, it's a bit out of the way, isn't it? You know, what you, you, know no, what you could it's do with It's actually right on the throughway because this is the main route from the universities to Sleepy Yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of people coming in. Oh, no. The jib about him. Oh, of course I know who he is. Of course I know who he is. No, the jib about him going to Chilton Bourne. Oh, Chilton Bourne. Yeah. Did he? All oh, right. Did you not hear? He went in Chilton Bookshop. Yeah, we, and we he actually bought, do very well with and him. And he bought a lot of books from there, 180 pounds he spent. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we have people coming by because we specialise. Yeah, any celebrities on? Well, I'm not interested in celebrities. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't, don't, I'm not interested in that stuff. But we sell a lot of Arabic because there's a lot of yeah. Arabs around here and we're one of the you, only bookshops yeah. that sell Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? I speak a dialect, yeah. yeah. Oh, very good. You see, it looks a very complicated language. Oh, it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, well, but thanks for that bring, chat. Bring one I'll bring one in and then you can... Have a look at it. Yeah, all right. See you later. Back in the sunshine in Manchester. Don't think she was interested, to be honest, but... Uh, there's no Arabic stories in my book.